up guys so this is a redo of an intro into this video uh, I ended up recording a pretty lengthy video all about uh, what to pick out for your shorts and I'm splitting it up into two parts so the first part you definitely want to check out just shopping tips things to look for before you even pick out shorts I think that it's really really important so the video is definitely gonna have the first of three tips on there you want to check it out then a second video I'm actually showing all about in part two of what actual shorts I recommend so I have five shorts that um, range from a variety so whether you're watching this <laughs> looking at the shorts and what to buy or not or at the end of this video I this is definitely for you so check out both parts that I did dedicated just for you so again thanks so much for stopping by my YouTube channel Instagram TV whatever social media you're checking this out on but I had to re-record this and be open and honest about it so check it out let me know again let's chat all about these shorts guys so until next time make sure Ooh, I'm shiny y'all <laughs> all right hey what's up guys it's Alex you're a marathoner I feel like I'm gonna be y'all run coach for a while because I am going to be focused a lot on running material uh, if you didn't know I am a certified running coach I've also been um, involved heavily within the running community for probably now a decade from being on a uh, board of National Black Marathon Association, even uh, dealing with the Running USA and their content committee. I am everywhere, also a runner, <laughs> and influencing you guys in the digital sphere. So really, this video y'all been asking me about, I tested for months, some new shorts, some oldies, some goodies. But if you clicked on this, the title says it's for itself. Some shorts for runners, with thighs and butt okay <laughs> so look i am not built like your traditional runner who's slender especially marathoners slender and everything i got curves everywhere and yes you can be curvy big whatever size and run marathons don't let that stop you guys i'm i'm a belief witness here and so this video and the content that i push out is just really things that I've experienced and I wanted to know and I know you guys want to know too okay so I have a set of shorts over here let me first start off by saying most of these shorts are black okay <laughs> do not expect that is one thing I can tell you that you don't get a lot of assortment of colors when it comes to shorts uh, that are made for people who are in thick, thick thighs or length so get used to having bottoms black when it comes to your attire. Um, I love, I mean, I love bright colors. So most of my bases when it comes to shorts are going to be black. And then I add maybe a pop of color like teal or even wine. Um, some of those things that I just bring that out and I want to jazz it up. Because you can kind of be, I don't want just black and black. But one of the benefits also about having black bottoms is that you don't have to worry about the sweat and dirt as much on pictures. If you don't, you might have an accident or something, nobody knows. That's what one of my um, my uh, elite runner friends, Sika, told me. She always wears black shorts just in case she cannot stop for the restroom. So look, we being real, I'm being real, it happens. You gotta keep it moving and going. All right, so I want to start off by, ooh, I forgot my notebook. Um, I want to start off by giving you some things to look for, okay, before we jump into which ones. I forgot my notebook, so this is my notes for what I'm talking about. All right, the first thing to look for when you are looking for um, <clears throat> shorts for our thighs and butts and you're gifted in that area, you want to look for length read but also look at the different lengths so right now i have um this this length. i'm gonna try to show you guys i should have back back some more these are very long so i'm gonna use my head as a <laughs> length indicator so we got from my puff 
it's actually past my boob so these are very long these are actually Brooks um, Bermuda shorts that I'll talk a little bit more um, in depth but we're gonna compare them to let's see this is another set another set of shorts and this you can already tell it's much shorter okay puff to way above that is a full I mean those inches matter so most of the things that I look for is at least five inches or greater that means it's covering up more because you it goes out with the curves or elongates so you need more length uh, the perfect length for me is probably about uh, a seven inch which um, but note on the lengths some of them go by inseam length so how much it is from let me pull these shorts back out how much it is from the crotch area so right here to right here some measure this as opposed to others measure from here to here so that that entire length this entire part so you really that's why i said lip matters when you're checking because if you're in if the inseam of it it says three inches and that's not going to cover as much it's not going to cover as much um and and so you definitely want to make sure that you're checking those things out before you purchase um especially with online purchases so i'm missing one okay i'll get in a minute the next thing is pockets and placement of the pocket so these are uh brooks shorts i don't only have brooks shorts but these are brooks shorts again you see how these are um a little bit shorter these are um what are these green green light yeah green light but the pockets are actually in the back and they are smaller they have two small ones in the back right here so uh actually these have as you can tell both of these have diff they have different material inside that is important um because say some of them are actually one of these is i think is a little bit bigger than the other or some might have like water resistant and the other pocket might not be or some of the material might not be true water or sweat resistant so you want to do your research which in this case they are um sweat resistant and help with you when you're running and stuff so if you have a cell phone or mp3 player or something electronic that maybe needs to go in this then um it's not so so much soaking wet as opposed to others additionally having pockets placed on the back is very flattering so it's flat in the front as opposed to um if you put a cell phone in the front of your pocket it, you know it's like there's a cell phone um right there and um, it might help with some chafing. So you definitely want to try the things out to look for pockets as opposed to some, some pockets might come up like this in the back with a full zipper. Uh, this is another pair. This matters and the depth of the zipper and the pocket placement. Again, when you are running, that action going back and forth is that going to be right on the tail end of your butt or of your back those kinds of things matter and then you have some you might not want any at all which for this one this one has no pockets at all so you want to keep that in mind when you are um here's another set i actually have a pair that's not black and the pockets are in the front like this so they go to the front as opposed to the side or they have they don't have any in the back they also have some these are the there's a pocket in the front on this one again you have depending on your preference as well as the shorts once i go into which one is which that's why it matters this is something totally i didn't realize and recognize and and i have certain shorts that i need if i'm doing a track workout i really don't need pockets if i'm doing a race i need pockets it might and i might might need them so you got to think about those things and understand that when you are buying and looking for it and trying it on um the next thing is material already you guys have seen 
um, different materials. This, uh, there's spandex, there's nylon. What is this one? Uh, polyester and spandex. This is almost like an 80, 20, 20% ratio. Um, let's see what these are. Um, I don't know the ratio of this. Let's see. Okay, I can't see the ratio of that one quickly. Um, different materials. This is a smoother material as opposed to something like this where it's more flowy. Um, the materials matter. When when it comes to running in particular, uh, you I tend to gravitate towards the um, spandex type of ones. Uh, even in those, you want to make sure that your material is breathable as well as light. Um, and that it, it dries, it's weakening and it dries. You also want to be aware of where stitching occurs. A lot of cheaper uh, shorts, they tend, you can't see any of this, sorry guys, that's what I get for having all black shorts. But take a look at the stitching with the material. Thinner stitching um, means that it's not going to last long. And I know that you guys are like, oh, but they were $20. Most of these shorts were under $30 and some of them have lasted years um, when I, I bought them on sale. I can't, I don't have the time to sit there and invest $20 every six months. I might as well just bought a pair that was 40 and it lasts a couple of years. It matters when you are running. The last thing you want is to be super, super cheap or have holes while you're running in a race. I've seen it, ladies. You butt come out, you have no idea um, unless you are going commando, which is perfectly fine sometimes in these shorts. So you have to be careful. So look for different materials. If you are running 5K, 10K, half full, you're more than likely going to have more stretchy material so it sticks to your legs and not ride up. That is the most important. You wanna also look at the bottom of your of the um of the stitching and make sure it's almost like double stitching as well that's a good indicator of a pretty good um a pretty good a thick ending and a pretty good short okay all right guys that's it for this part one in the series follow up with part two where i will talk about the actual running shorts that i recommend you don't want to miss it it's the next one up